Okay, here's a little design tip that I literally use all the time. I use this for a lot of designing, uh, a lot of prototyping and such. And I think that this will work with literally anything you're doing. Um, if you work on cars, if you work on boats, like real cars or real boats and such. Um, this is really good if you have some measurements that you know are indeed true, but you want to add something else uh, that you also know the size of, but you really want to center it and you want to do it precisely. So, enough. okay, let me show you the example and you can figure this out. So here's the part I use on my big drone. So this part will stick to the bottom of the drone, and then we have an isolation dampener here with these wires, and then the gimbal will bolt on here, and the camera will bolt on here, and this gets rid of jitters and jello and such. So here's the situation. So I've got these uh, holes in this plate, right? And usually, usually people will bolt a, like a heavy-duty uh, dovetail system to these holes. Okay, now the customer wants to use this. This is an adapter for a different kind of gimbal. So I want to attach this onto this, okay? But as you see, I do not have the right bolt hole patterns lined up. So yes, of course I could just literally just kind of bolt it on there. Um, you know, I, I could just kind of center it up by eye and bolt it on there. But you know, it's 2019 now, and I think I have the technology to do this. So, here's what we're going to do. Couldn't be any easier. It's, it's simple. Once again, if you know CAD, if you know how to do CAD, then this will really make it easy. If not, I guess you could draw it by paper, but I would just recommend CAD. And there's programs like Google SketchUp. I use SolidWorks. Um, and if, if you know how to draw in there, then you're perfect. If you have a 3D printer, even better. But this will work with regular paper as well. So, what I did was I went into CAD and I drew up a little part that I drew the holes that I knew. So these little embossed holes are the holes that I knew, okay? So we're gonna take our no measurements. And I just sat there with a pair of calipers and I just measured these holes and spit it into CAD. So then what I did was I took the desired holes, so this bolt hole pattern, and I made those real small. So as you can see, those four holes that are small right there. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my part, it's, and it's a little template, and I put it in right there, and you can see it locked in, and so that engaged to the known holes, so that right there engaged to the holes that I know, but now I've got these four holes right here. So literally, all I'm gonna take it do is to take a drill and just drill these out. So this is like a jig, like a one-time uh, fixture that I'm gonna use for drilling these holes. So it makes it really easy. Now, if you don't have a 3D printer, but you can figure out a program like Google SketchUp, you can literally take this same part that you drew and you can print this out with a piece of paper. And then if there's smaller bolts, you can just stick some bolts through the middle of the holes where they're printed on the paper and you can use it as a drill template. So that's all this is, it's just like a drill template. So it makes it really, really easy. I use this all the time. So now what I will do is I will put these new bolts and this new bolt hole pattern in my revised part so that next time this gets made, those holes are already there. But for this time, this is how we're gonna solve this problem. So hope that was helpful. Little, uh, little tip for you, a little drill guide. Make it a drill guide. See you.